prayers, traveling grace. I realize that my vision ain't what it used to be, but maybe. You know what? My butt's not spreading. My drawers are shrinking. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, also known as Coley Cole. Boo thing, new day, new week, new vlog. As you can see, we're back. We got back last night, probably around 6.30. We went to eat, my brother, the girls, Kennedy. We went to eat and then I went home. I went home, I took a 1000 degree shower. I sat on my couch under my heated blanket. I had a glass of wine. I smoked hookah, I watched the news, and then I went to bed. And we overslept for our freaking L appointment. Like, God woke me up, and it was two, three minutes after Stephanie had text talking about, Hey, boo, was our appointment today, or am I confused? Now, girl, you are on point. I'm slipping over here. I'm slipping with my pimping because I'm over here asleep. I'm coming. And, per usual... She ate down. I love it. These two are the same. This one is like the mar marble with the gold foil. This one, you know, it's shiny. And this one is like the funny bunny white situation. And you know, we toxic. So we got white on our toes because all the toxic bitches have white toenail polish. Ah! Don't listen to me. Don't take me serious, guys. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We ain't had no coffee. But I don't really want to eat from Starbucks. I feel like I want to go to Starbucks and get some coffee. But I want to go to Chick-fil-A to get something to eat. Because I ain't had Chick-fil-A in months. Because there's no Chick-fil-A where I'm at. Um... But who really, like, who does that? Like, first off, they don't even go together. And it's 11.55. We got a haircut at 1. I feel like both of those, we, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We got time today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do what we want to do. And we're going to go get coffee from, where did I say? Starbucks. And we're going to go get something to eat from Chick-fil-A. And then I have absolutely no idea your battery's going dead. I don't know what else is happening today, but you coming with me, so get your stuff. I'm nothing laying here looking at TV. Hmm. What you doing? Honey, sitting in this long Chick fil A line. <laughs> is it a long line? It is an obnoxiously long line. Oh, yeah, that's everywhere, ain't it? Mm hmm. It's fine, though, because I'm going to sit in it because I'm hungry. I know that's right. What it I don't know what I'm going to eat. I had a pretty big breakfast. Your dad brought me some breakfast, uh, sausage biscuit, and a uh, um, hash brown with the coffee. So, uh -huh. I did a uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Hello. Don't you don't mind just going on here for your ice pocket over here. Okay. What'd you say, Mom? I said, so anyway, you better get the show on the road, get it over with so I can get better. Right. <laughs> well, it's almost time. Yeah, right around the corner. You'll be done and on with the next chapter of life. Yes, Lord. In 2024. Right. 
Girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around and so throw it up, man, baby You love all some idiot guys Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and I write shoe love But you love all some medium guys Okay, haircut, like <laughs> I feel like I got like maybe First off, I forgot to take the camera Because I was talking to my mama Second, I was gonna like film the whole thing on my phone But honey, we got to talking And he was filling me in on him and boo And I got so sidetracked I forgot to, um record anymore because he couldn't and then stopping and talking and i'm looking at him like it's 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 the time every time i go to water barber again barber hairstylist nail artist lash wax everybody description is in the description box for anybody that's in houston or coming to houston and feel like you need something done okay it's now 152 i don't know if I I need to go home and edit because there's one last video for 2023. It's basically after Christmas and New Year's, like that little week. And then it'll be the actual last video for 2023 because this vlog is the first vlog for 2024. And at the end of the last video, I told y'all that my mama's having um, open heart bypass on January 8th. Today is January 4th, by the way. So I need I need to edit that. But I also need to go to Target. And I kind of need to go to the grocery store. Because tomorrow is Remy Friday. And me and my brother were going to go. Sorry, y'all. Me and my brother was going to go to Arkansas. But it's supposed to be stormy. So if we're going to be here, then we're going to do Remy Friday. And if we're doing Remy Friday, you know, I got to do something cute for Remy Friday. The first one of the year. You know, I got to get in my TikTok bag. And come up with something cute. Because last night when we was at dinner uh ken dog talking about i want to do remy friday well it would have to be friday first i said i said i said to myself you know me and the people in my head had a conversation about how nobody gonna find us if we don't go outside and if we not like outside outside then we at least need to be outside at the grocery store and at target which again my brother told me a long time ago stop ordering your stuff stop getting it delivered to the house and stop doing pickup go in the store don't nobody know you exist because you don't go outside so I had said, me and the people in my head had said, we were going to go in the store more often. Because I can't say I'm going to always go in the store. But I could go in the store and look for whatever I come up with for my TikTok Remy Friday meal snack situation. And I need to go in Target because my mama wants she wants some button up gowns for after surgery she thought she was going to be taking this gown to the hospital but I told her honey you're going to be in um hospital gowns because you're going to be attached to all type of things but honey if you want a button up gown I'm going to get you some button up gowns because the second you can get out the hospital gown then you can put your little button up gown on so I need to go to Target and see if they have any because if they don't then i need to see if i can overnight some from amazon i guess i just don't want to go to the store okay let me think about it okay we're in target and their music is overly loud but button up gowns the traditional target gown that most of us have which I have a gown and I have a robe. I think I'm gonna get her the blue because they all have blue and black. But I feel like I feel like she needs a small. They don't have many options of button-up gowns. Like these are pajamas, like a top and a bottom. But I don't think I've ever seen my mama in a top and bottom pajama. It's always a gown or my daddy t-shirts. So. I think I'm gonna get her a robe. She has a robe. 
but she's already referenced. I don't want to take that big robe because she has one of those big soft robes. So maybe one of these, maybe this one. Oh Lord, I can't with the music. I gotta go. We're back home. I got questions. Where is the receipt? $250.78 later. Let's, let's break this down. Oh Lord, where's the pot? detergent right here it has a hole in it apparently there's like a little crease in the bottom of the container and the crease now has a hole in it so it was trying to spill million dollar detergent and we ain't having that so I got to search the cabinets to find something that I can now pour the detergent in but until the end it's doing it right there okay 200 $250.78 later. Let's look at what we got. Stella. I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Stella, $11.99. This is what we're about to do because I just don't. Do I need extra? Yeah, I need to hold on to a few of these. To stash. She's getting a little low in there. But we're going to put that right there. I got two of these, one for, I think I'm gonna give this one to my mama. Um, so she can have these. She ain't wearing them at, she told me she needed some slippers for the hospital. She don't need slippers for the hospital because she gonna be in hospital no slip socks. These for when she come home. These because Sha was looking at them in that last vlog where me, her and Kennedy went to Target and Ten Kennedy, Kennedy was convinced that she needed the scarf. <laughs> Her mama saw these and she was like, oh, I need some of these, but she didn't get them for herself. So these are going in her Christmas bag. Um, those, those are, how much are these buying? These are $8, yeah. Damn, $8. I got some drawers. They are five for 20 because again, my butt is continuing to spread and my drawers, no, you know what? My butt's not spreading. My drawers are shrinking. So I needed new ones, basically. You know how you like pull on your underwear, like you put them on and then you pull on them to like spread across your butt? I just be telling y'all all my business. So I put the underwear on and then, you know, you put them on, you pull them up and then you like spread them out to like make sure they cover your butt. And when I tugged on this side, whole, whole. That means I've been tugging on that one side too damn much. So we got some new ones and they are, they're five for 25. No, they're five for 20 at Target. I got some socks because I don't know where my socks have went. I have literally two pair. One pair here and no, yeah, two pair. And they're both here because one pair was here and the other pair was with me where I'm at and I wore that pair here. So I don't know where the hell my black socks have went to. So I got some socks and the socks were, how much is the sock? I don't know how much the socks are. How much are y'all? I feel like, come on now, where is the socks? Leggings, fur, fur, I don't even know what that is. That's the underwear, that's her candy. Miscellaneous, this must be, 
I think this was $9.99. I just don't understand these headbands. Why did I get these headbands? Just because I wanted them. Headbands, $6.49. Leggings, because we're gonna have to be comfy at the hospital. Leggings, the leggings were $20. Saving that bag. And then I got my mama's robe, which was $37. And I did, I got her the blue one. That can actually stay in a bag. I got myself this because I, I, and I limited myself. There was a lot of cute clothes in there that I wanted to get that I didn't get. So I controlled myself, but I wanted this crop hoodie, cute and comfortable. I can wear it with my leggings. Okay, there's that. Oh, we're supposed to be talking prices. Um, I told you the leggings were $20. So how much was the damn hoodie? Oh, the hoodie was $18. And the rest of this stuff is household stuff, like toothpaste, body wash, mouthwash. Now, this mouthwash is like $10. Could I get some cheaper mouthwash? Yes, I could. But do I like the cheaper mouthwash? No, I like this. I got this just because it's cute. It's a mini and I wanna see if it works. Cause you know, I wear my hair on the side most of the time. Look at it, y'all know I like it big. <laughs> um, but I wanna see if it'll like help this part. I have it pinned back now just so I can stay out of my face, but usually whether it's this side or that side, you know, I have the little right there. I just want to see if this will hold it, I guess I should say, because I usually put like a, a bobby pin to hold it. The girls know what I'm talking about. The men probably like, Nicole, what are you talking about? This because I need to put it on my toothbrush when we pack to go to Arkansas. And it's a two pack because I can give my brother one. I got my mama some chapstick because I feel like, you know, laying in the bed, her mouth is going to be dry, chapstick, and she's not going to want, like, lip gloss. I got this for Kendall because she loves them. She used to call them, what did she used to call them? Snakes? Sour snakes? They're not snakes, they're worms, but whatever, girl. I got this because it's one of my favorites. If... You still one of the people who don't want to buy Baccarat and you ain't got the dossier. This is the closest thing to it. This is like, it's literally the closest thing to Baccarat that you could get that doesn't cost a million dollars. But I got this one to keep in my purse because it's clean, it's fresh, it's sweet. I really like it. I got it for Ebony like years ago for Christmas. So now she buys it for herself. It's like one of the perfumes that she just always has um and she wears it to work a lot and i got these two oils which each one of these the miel oh my god the miel was 9.99 the kaleidoscope was 19.99 so i got this one for my mama because everybody says that this is really good for strengthening your hair um and she says that she's been had a lot of shedding lately her hair is usually straight she wears it in a wrap so when she combs it down she said it's been shedding a lot recently um and i don't know if it's stressed because of the surgery or what but i told other people really like this i have a really 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 dry scalp so i like i had a ball of this and i tried to use it did i use all of that what did i do with it while i'm over here buying another one i get um, um, i wonder I think I used it. Anyway, I had a bottle of this and I did, I used it, but it didn't really help my dry scalp. Um, so I switched to the TGIN, which I do really like. It actually helps my dry scalp. Like when I use it, my dry scalp doesn't come back. That didn't really, it didn't help it. So I also got this to try for myself because all the people say it's good with dry scalp and it helps your hair grow. 
I still don't know what the hell it is that I'm doing with my hair. But for now, since it's still in a protective style, if it's going to grow, we might as well see what it's going to do. So, this to see if it do anything as far as hair growth. But more so, um, again, for my scalp because they say it's really, really good for dry scalp and hair growth. But I left my TGIN at the Airbnb. So, that's why I got this. Now, I'm wondering if I had a bottle of this that I could have gave mama. But anyway, yeah. That's my Target haul. I gotta call Sha back and then I'm gonna call y'all back. yesterday because I was adulting I went to the doctor um like to my primary care doc checked on my blood pressure we're good I even went and got my eyes checked because recently I felt like I didn't feel like I was blind but I felt like I was having to squint to see far away more than I used to and I was right I have a mild I think they call it stigmatism anyway I got a prescription I got glasses Y'all will see them when they come in the mail. They should be here before we go back to our assignment. Now, as you can see, I'm packed. Oh, yeah. And then the only other thing was Remy Friday, and it was chill, so I didn't even bring the camera out. And so now it's, like I said, it's Saturday. What's today? January 8th, the 6th, I think. And we're packed. We're ready to go. Going to get ready and go to Arkansas and start our little venture due to my brother being a videographer we got time to kill it is now <laughs> hours later um so we probably not gonna get to arkansas or we probably not gonna get to my parents place until this is me putting the seat back where i like it because my brother drove my car last night to go get Kennedy a freaking Happy Meal. Because she was losing her shiz naive about a Happy Meal last night. Um, anyway, I think most of y'all know this. He's a videographer. And he did a wedding. And he was finishing up the last little whatever part to the wedding video. But something happened between the export, the upload, the something, something, something. So what he thought was the finished product to send to the couple, some messed up. So he had to go back in there and redo it. And now you got the process of uploading it to the something, something, and then transferring it to the da 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 da. I'm a nurse and a content creator. I don't know nothing about all that, but it takes time. So we're currently waiting on that. Hold on. So routinely. We usually stop at Chick-fil-A once we get on the interstate, like get out of the city and get something to eat. But 
I'm just gonna go to Chick Fil A up his. We can eat that way when his video stuff finish. We can just get on the road. And I need to ask my mama what she want to eat tonight. That way. I know you texting us in my car. It's my car telling me the ignition was started. Um, so when we get to Arkansas, I can just pretty much go to the grocery store and get whatever it is that she's gonna want. So that once we get to the house, we ain't gotta leave. Then the next thing is figuring out do we go because her surgery is gonna be in Little Rock, which is like central arkansas and my parents stay in southern arkansas they stay basically on the state line of arkansas and louisiana so once we get there and get settled family discussion has to be do we go to little rock tomorrow which is sunday the surgery is monday do we go to little rock sunday and check into a hotel so that we can just be there because it's about I feel like it's at least three hours from sir come on um at least three hours from my parents house to Little Rock and she has to check in at the hospital at 5 30 a.m. so that will have us leaving home Sunday night knowing my daddy he gonna want to leave around like midnight like so who want to do that I personally don't but I'm gonna do what everybody want to do so in real life I just want to book the room because we're gonna need a we got to book a hotel room anyway because everybody can't stay at the hospital because you can only have one person at night and you know I'm 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 the person I mean I know she married with a whole husband but I'm the person because I gotta see what the fuck is going on like planning to live in her room when daddy and Rod come, I'll just tuck into a corner. And when they leave, I'll come out the corner. But I... All times. Um, but yeah, so we got to have a room. Because everybody can't stay at the hotel. So in real life, I just want to book the room. Like starting Sunday. And at least through like Wednesday or Thursday. Because they said she should be there three to four days if everything's good look at here let me adjust the mirror um and then she should go home but i'm gonna wait and see what everybody want to do and then we'll just go from there so just popping in giving y'all an update i don't know if i feel like maybe today This video may end today or part of the day. I gotta see how much footage I have because we're gonna need to start another one. I feel like when we leave for Little Rock, like I feel like when we leave for Little Rock should be the start of the new vlog. So maybe I'll carry this one out until we get home. And then after whatever happens when we get home, can be the start of a new vlog i guess i could do that on the way i guess i could do that on the way to arkansas i could edit y'all better go on dead i'll be back they can do their pockets left their shoes unlaced are you dead broke but got a dope charge get the french in case i get some word i got old birds plus you got the green like we made it currently in walmart Cause we're gonna oh i told y'all this earlier we're gonna cook so we're grabbing stuff to make dinner stuff to do a quick 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 breakfast in the morning and we're trying to get in here and get out without anybody noticing us let's see if we can do it you already know what's happening i'm so um, excited i guess we need to start making the salad huh This is going to be the end of the vlog. It's a Sunday, January 7th. We're about to get on the road and head to Little Rock. 
prayers, traveling grace. I'll check in with y'all in a little bit when we start the next vlog.